gangsta bitch. I want a gangsta bitch. Yo, I want a gangsta bitch. With my, I want a, I need a, yo, I want a gangsta bitch. With my. You'll never guess who's awake. You're shitting me. Come see for yourself. How long has it been? Years. I stopped keeping track a while ago. I can't believe it's been that long. Time flies when you're watching someone breathe through a tube. How's the family? My wife's cheating on me with an old tour exec, and uh, my daughter sits in her room listening to Aisha albums all day. Oh, for a dead woman, she sure releases a lot of records. <laughs> no shit. God, that was a hell of a year. Alderman Hughes, Mayor Winslow, Aisha, Chief Monroe. All murdered by that asshole who's been sitting in intensive care on taxpayers' money. Well, he said he wouldn't pull the plug. Lord knows why. Anyone call the chief? Couldn't get through. The press has been mobbing him with phone calls. Oh, about the... Yep. I forgot that was today. You should pay more attention. Fuck off. How's the patient? Seeing as they're still breathing after being caught in a massive explosion, I'd say pretty good. Coming through! What happened? Shanking. Put him over there. Sorry about that. Have they said anything yet? Not yet. But I'm about to take the bandages off. Baby, you give me a chance and I... Ha! What? You want a piece of this? Ha! Oh, no. You do? Fuck you! Yes. That looks like it healed nicely. Be careful, doctor. Your patient's dangerous. You got anything you want to say to the judge, you better start thinking of it now. You're wasting your time. Let's get a hold of Troy. Psst. Hey! Is it really you? Do I know you? My brother was in the Saints and he told me all about you. Listen, we gotta get you out of here. Well, I'm sure if we ask nicely... I know a way out! Yeah? Then why are you still here? I heard you were in here and I wanted to bust you out. Getting out of here is a two-man job and no one else will give it a try. You really expect me to trust some guy I don't even know? Come on, I just got myself shanked so I could get a chance to talk to you. Doesn't that show I'm loyal? It shows that you're dumb enough to let yourself get stabbed. I'm trying to help you. You know what I got the last time I trusted someone? Blown the fuck up. You need me. <laughs> the hell I do? I got the Saints. <laughs> sure you do. What's that supposed to mean? How long do you think you've been out? Yeah, I don't know, man. Two or three weeks? Look. I know you think you're a badass, but do you even know where you're at? Without me, you'll be wandering around the prison for hours. Even if you manage to hide from the guards that long, and if you actually figure out how to make it outside these walls, you're just gonna find out that you're sitting on a goddamn island. And I'm pretty sure you can't outswim the Coast Guard. You got a boat stashed here? No, but I know where we're gonna steal one. Alright, let's get out of here. Wanna play? We can either try to sneak out through the roof or charge out the front. Your call. Can't believe I'm breaking out of jail with you. Yeah, it's a dream come true. Now let's move. Big mistake! I'm gonna blast! Follow me. I know the way out. <sighs> okay, we gotta climb these pipes up to the roof. So, do you remember my brother? Is a tough guy, wore purple? Sure. Get out of here. Let's not get shot first, then I'll worry about it. Oh. 
You messing with the wrong gang. Get on. Ow, we ain't going out without a fight. Let's stay away from the spotlights. That's all the. That's all you got? I think we might pull this off. Glad you have so much faith in your plan. get you out of here. We're not out yet. Well, it sounds like they found the body. and take a boat off this fucking island. the gun. I'm gonna get us out of here.
That's the road? It is now. Jesus, when did this happen? <laughs> when Ultra got involved. The clothing company. After Hughes was killed in that bombing of yours, Ultra picked up the pieces. Now they're everywhere. On TV, on billboards, in stores. Hell, if you ever forget who Ultra is, just look towards Saints Row and you'll see that fucking eyesore. Here we are. Where can I find the other Saints? Huh. What other Saints? What you talking about? Without anyone to lead them, the Saints fell apart. Once the Brotherhood, Ronan and Samdi showed up, the few that were left dropped their flags before they got killed. Well, that's fucking great. Look, I know you didn't ask for it, but my advice is to just keep your head down. The cops are looking for you and a lot's changed. I say you just go buy a beer and soak up as much information as you can. Thanks, Carlos. Anytime.
need some company? You want a little cup? I'm the fuck. Watch it. You mind? Turn the TV back on. In a few short moments, we'll be allowed back in the courtroom and we'll find out once and for all if Mr. Gat will go home a happy man or a dead one. Back to you, Jack. Oh,
You got a problem? What's up, y'all? I'm David. And I'm Josh. And we wanted to talk to you about Brandon. That's right, and Brandon, we got the latest from Designer Ruben. That's cheaper than anywhere else. You want viral? We got it. You want a cruise? We got it. You want... Yo, D, is that guy over there wearing Section 9? Looks like it. You want Section 9? We got it. Uh, we're always on the lookout for new products. We're coming down to Brandon. Right, she's so good at criminal. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, go, go, go! Mr. Gat, you've been convicted of over 300 murders. Do you really expect this appeal to work? I figure with the statute of limitations, it really should be closer to 250. There's no statute of limitations for murder! Why the fuck not? Watch yourself, Mr. Gat. Or what? You hold me in contempt of court? You're already planning on giving me the chair. You think I give a shit about you not liking me? Fuck off. I'm curious if you can keep your cavalier attitude when 2,000 volts are running through your body. Oh yeah? And I'm curious if you can keep acting like a douchebag when I shove that gavel up your ass. My client would like that stricken from the record. What's that? <laughs> Drop it. Uh, anyone hit and need a lawyer? Shit. About time your burnt ass woke up. You okay, Johnny? Yeah, aside from almost getting sent to the chair, I'm fucking great. Hey, you look different. You do something with your hair? You ready to get out of here? Get up, 
so I can kill you again. Tear you apart. Who else wants to step? would have killed me if I got executed. You still with Aisha? Yeah, I mean, got a little tricky with me on death row and her being on the DL after faking her own death. But, you know, we got a way to make it work. How long were you in jail anyway? <laughs> Two years and 31 days. Not like you accounting. Yeah, right? You know, it's weird. People inside were betting how long I'd last. See, when I was first off, the guards were always trying to put me in the ground. After Troy became chief of police, he had to stop. Troy must be more forgiving than I am. Troy's the chief of police? Yo, you better start getting with the times. Julius is missing, Ben King wrote an autobiography, Dex is a... Yo, don't even get me started with Dex. But the real kicker is Troy. In a couple of months, he went from undercover cop to chief of police. And word is, he's become obsessed with finding out what happened on your little boat trip with the army. If I get some free time, I might swing by the station and say hello.
106.66. What can I do you for? Play me something good! I won't play you something good. I'll play you something great! Open and go of perdition. See college chicks on wheels Three, as the Stillwater two, Lady Roller Skeeters one. get ready to roll. Why watch spring break videos online when there's live girl-on-girl -girl action at Stillwater Arena all season long? Hi, I'm Mary Ellen Pinkenwetter, captain of the Roller Skeeters. We've got four matches against our rivals, Freedom City, coming up. So let me just invite everyone to come out and watch us pound those beavers. Come show your support for your Lady Roller Skeeters with Stillwater U Roller Derby. We're not sure of the rules, but we know one thing, you gotta be there.
Listen, we have to make this quick. Stefan is having another one of his soirees today, and I'm not missing his pool boy this year. Here's the deal. I've been trying to sell real estate in this area for a month, but no one's buying because the property value is too high. What do you want me to do about it? My cousin runs a septic company. I figured you could borrow one of his trucks, drive around the area, and, well, you know. You really think people are going to want to buy houses if the area is covered in shit? It's really hard to find cheap housing in Stillwater. A rival realtor has exclusive rights to new homes in Quinbeca and New Hencay. Let's pay their construction sites a bit. That ought to make Javier happy. We gotta keep moving! Hey, remind me to take a picture of the grill for insurance purposes. No time to break! A little light today, but tomorrow, tomorrow, I love this shit! I wonder how much they're willing to pay for that property now. This is the best part of the job. Let's see those cops keep up. Yeah, baby! You think I'm stopping for you? That house looks shitty anyway. What does it take to stop this? I wish I could see the homeowner's face. We got coverage for that. Who this asshole think he is? There is a lesson to be learned here. Don't stand in the way of a septic. That ought to make Javier happy. more fun than it should be. Wonder how much they're willing to pay for that property now. I gotta tell you, you need to try this. It's very liberating. You think this is funny? Let's see you out sell my cousin now, asshole. I don't think they appreciate it. Am I stopping these people from shooting us? I wish I could see the homeowner's face. Do 
Shouldn't the airbag have gone off by now? Couldn't break. It would have been unsafe. Don't worry about it. This thing is steady as a rock. The safety rating on this thing has got to be through the roof. I hope those construction workers have a sense of humor. You ask me, this place looks shitty enough, but if Javier wants the property value lower, that's what he's gonna get. We really didn't think this plan out too well. Let's see what this big bastard can do! The cops care so much about a trailer park. Now that right there was a thing of beauty. It's moments like that that make me love my job. Judging by the crap laying all over the place, I doubt anyone will notice. I'm glad I don't have to worry about cleanup. Good one! This hit and run thing really does get easier the more you do it. I think that pissed them off. You're really messing this place up. I'll plow through anything that gets in my way. What the fuck is wrong with you? Get these people away from us! Why the cops care so much about a trailer park? What's up? It's Gad. Meet me at Aisha's place. We gotta figure out our next move. Hey, bro! 
Come on in. You want a beer? Yeah, that'd be great. Johnny, who's that? Yo, come to the living room and find out. Johnny, I don't care if you just broke out of jail. You do not mess with my furniture. Oh my God, it's you. Surprised, Aisha? What? That you're here, or that you're talking? Pick one. We all thought you were dead. I almost was. Well, for someone who was blown to hell, you look great. <laughs> Did you do something with your hair? Now, I've been getting that a lot. Yo, can we get back to business? What's the rush? I've been cooped up on death row and that bitch has been laid out in a coma. We definitely need to remind motherfuckers who we are. And that can't wait until after dinner? No. no. <laughs> you two haven't changed at all. Well, you know, there's a saying about dogs and blowing shit up. <laughs> so what's the plan? We get our crew together. Once we got that, we can work on how we take him back our city. Sounds good. And where were you planning on having this little meeting? No. Well, this place is pretty spacious. No. The color's very soothing. No. Come on, Ish. This ain't no fucking gang clubhouse. Change of plans. We gotta find a new place. Yeah, you got it. Head over to the old mission house. We should be able to set up shop there. Why don't we just set up shop at the church? Ultos renovated it and turned it into a tourist trap. You're kidding me. I wish I was. We gotta find a new place, and the mission house will be perfect. Eh, religious buildings have kinda been there and done that. Now, we're not staying in the mission. Now, check it out. Years ago, an earthquake dropped part of the city below sea level, and rather than clearing out the rubble, the city just built over it. There's an abandoned hotel below the mission that'll work for us. Alright, so what's the catch? We gotta evict the current tenants. Sounds like fun.
just a dump in the alley! Why are you stupid you fluffy bunnies? So, what you think? It's kind of a shithole. True that. But it's a shithole with potential. I don't know, man. Oh, come on. A stripper pole, some flat screens, maybe some nicer furniture? You had me a stripper pole. Fucking A.
sometimes I think there's a... You want to be on the list, honey? You know, this ain't exactly what I had in mind for my day. Yo, we gotta clean this place out. Yo, I'm not a fucking janitor. No shit, you're a goddamn diva. Come on, this is the kind of shit people who just got canonized should have to do. Good idea. We'll just ask some of the crew for help. Hey, buddy, you wanna help? No? Looks like we doing this ourselves. That's my point. We can't really run a gang if we don't have, you know, a fucking gang. You said it yourself. Most of the old crew are either dead or busted by Troy. We're gonna have to start fresh. Yeah, well, let's get on that, because I'm done mopping up blood. This kid Carlos helped me bust out. He seems all right, but we're gonna need more. What you thinking? Yo, I met some people in jail who might work. Let me make some calls. Once I find out where these bitches are, you're gonna have to show them that you're the real deal, though. They won't just follow anybody. It won't be a problem. Hey, before you go, what sort of crew are you looking for?
kommen sehen. I'd love to help the Saints, but first you need to do me a favor. A deadbeat friend of mine owes me money. Can you help me repossess his car? How you been? Busy. Yeah, I heard what you did at Danny's trial. And I couldn't let him fry. You know Gat from jail? You know I saw Johnny in prison once. He didn't look like a really happy guy. He's happy enough when he's killing somebody. Seriously though, he's a good guy, just don't piss him off. Ramon, what's up? Listen, I don't got a lot of time. I was just calling to let you know that <laughs> I stole your car. Are you there? Great. Here's the deal. If you don't want your car cubed, I really suggest you pay me what you owe me. Talk to you later, Ramon.
Yeah, you're in, Carlos. I'll meet you at the old mission. See you then. These guys can bring back the Police! Watch it. If I'm gonna run with you, I wanna see you fuck some Ronin up. Definitely down for being with your crew. Good. Meet me at the abandoned mission house. I'll be there.
me, who no better come fuck to me. Hey boy, hey boy, I fear trouble them again. Hey boy, hey boy, I fear trouble them again. Hey boy, hey boy, I fear trouble them again. Hey boy, hey boy, I fear trouble them again. Hey, I'm Shandi. What do you say you show me what you can do in that thing? The streets of Stillwater were quiet today, as apparently the homeless population of Stillwater took the day off. Sidewalks that were once bustling with hobos panhandling are eerily vacant, and park benches are strangely available to be sat on. No one knows for sure what happened to our oft-forgotten and smelly brethren. What you say we go meet the rest of the boys, Shandy? Good times. Let's go. I'm Jane Valarama, Channel 6 News. What the hell is going on? I had to do some canonizing. Hold up. You. You're next. Wait, what? Sorry about that. Where'd you find these guys? Like I said, I made some calls. You guys actually hang out down here? I don't know. Add a flat screen, some throw pillows, and a hookah, and this place would be all right. You definitely need a stripper pole in this bitch. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So what do we do now? We listen. All right, everybody listen up. We got some serious shit to discuss. The Saints used to own Stillwater. And it seems like the only motherfuckers that remember that is me and Gat. I think it's time we give those other crews a wake-up call. Now, I ain't gonna lie, a lot of shit's changed since I've been out of the game, so I'm gonna need some help. Pierce, you on the Ronin. I wanna know who's calling the shots and what businesses they running. Done. Shondi, you got the sons of Samdi. It's gotta be them. Fuck you say? It's cool. I, I got this. Carlos. The Brotherhood. I'm on it. Aight. Once we're done here, talk to one of these guys. I have something for you to do. It's our time now. Let's get this shit started. <laughs>
Hey! What's your problem? What's up? Uh, the doctors won't let me do MMA because I got a broken hand. I tore my ACL. I think your doctor had the right idea. Horse pussy, man. I could break any of those assholes that are fighting if I was cleared. The fight's going on now? Yeah. Shit, I might as well take your spot. Hey, you can't do that. Yeah? Why don't you run and catch up? Hey, fuck you, asshole. Three, two, one. You're gonna have to do uh, help. Uh, uh, oh. You wouldn't last a week if I didn't look down there.
Three, two, one.
Those bums we evicted set up shop in the underground caverns. Now, normally, I wouldn't give a shit, but these assholes been mugging tourists so they can have enough bank to come at us. You toss their shantytown, and I doubt they'll try to step. All day. than that.
Channel 6 News team is first to the scene with award-winning on-site reporter Jane Valderrama. Stillwater University, a place of learning or a state-funded opium den. Legendary anchorman Jack Armstrong, celebrating 25 years of bringing you the news you need to hear. Our top story tonight, child My kid's 16th birthday is coming up, and she's got a couple cars on her birthday list. Can you give me a hand? Dressed like a West Side Roller is absurd, and he shattered our frail illusions. I'm standing here at the North Pole. The snow. Nothing but snow. But next month, the investigative reporter Stephen Nichols is about to face his biggest challenge yet. Mr. Vogel, what can you tell me about the pyramid? He finds the facts. Okay, I'm not seeing pyramid. and any outdoor expenditures? He asks the tough questions. Is there an outdoor R&D facility codenamed the Pyramid? No. I think we're done here. And he knows the truth. I don't know if the world is ready for this. Secrets of the Pyramid, coming next month on Channel 6. It's not foreplay without Funk 98.4. How are you doing? Dr. Raymond Gonzalez says you're highly recommended. How is the doc? Oh, that stunt you pulled with him landed him in jail. Oh, sorry. Don't worry about it. He was a dick. Anyway, I was wondering if you could run the same insurance scam with me. Didn't you just say Gonzalez got thrown in jail? Why would you want to try the same thing? How about you worry about throwing yourself in front of cars and I worry about not getting arrested? Suit yourself.
I'm a man with me. Hey, Jane. What up? Poseidon, who watched over sailors setting forth from Greece, ensuring their safety. Sadly, the Grecian deity was unable to extend this same protection to his Texas holding tables. While details remain sketchy at best, early reports have said Troy Bradshaw is handling the investigation personally. More on this daring robbery as the story unfolds. I'm Jane Valderrama, Channel 6 News. your crew then? I don't need one. You sure about that? I could kill you right now. No, you couldn't. What do you want? Listen, I'm not stupid. I know who you are. Now, there's no reason for us to tear each other apart. I'm listening. Here's what I'm thinking. We divide still. I hear voices this way! Yeah, but which way?
do something stupid. We go up, we'll hit the street. We go down, we're taking a boat out of here. This is an import? I've been waiting for an excuse to bust you. <laughs> Just bought a bow. <laughs> Baddest motherfucker still one.
So here we are. Jesus, it's like a coked up sideshow. Pretty impressive, huh? Aren't you worried about being in the open? People know to stay away. How's my truck coming? It'll be ready for the competition. Thanks, Donnie. You know that guy? Later. You're back! Come on. You expected anything less? Hi, I'm Jessica. Nice to meet you. Hey, I'm Carlos. I'm still Jessica. <laughs> you know, you remind me of my old house cleaner. <laughs> I'm kidding. I was kidding! Babe, you want to count the cash? Sure. Yo, Matt, you ready to work? Hey, aren't you the guitarist for the Feed Dogs? Don't encourage him. Listen, lady, you guys met at one of my concerts, so I don't want to hear it. Don't you think you have enough tattoos? Brother, I got a lot of canvas left. So let's get back to business. The Brotherhood is about to come into something big. And I think the Saints are going to want to get in on the ground floor. So what's the offer? 2080. I'm assuming I get the 80? Yeah. Sure you do. You really expect me to take 20 and say thanks? On your hands and fucking knees. Is this a joke? I used to own... Used to is right. Time's passed you by. Now you're a has-been with some burn scars. I suggest you shut the fuck up before... You're kidding me, right? Hey man, be cool. You really think that a couple of washed-up bangers like you and Gat have a chance against the Brotherhood? We'll see. Let's go, Carlos. Honey, you want me to have someone take care of them? Nah. They'll be dead soon enough. a lot of money after betting against the SU chess team. If you don't take those motherfuckers out, you might be out one lieutenant if you know what I'm saying.
buy a new car. All of this behind the counter. You're listening to the triple platinum veteran child of Gen X. You know that stuff is bad. For you. The best, 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 best of today. So what you need? What you need? Uh. You want it, baby. I got it. Uh. Only on Gen X. What, you got a problem?
Lynn, I... Um, I miss you. That's sweet, Donnie. I missed you too. Oh, shit. You haven't seen me since your boss shot and stuffed me in the trunk of a car and the best you can give me is oh shit? You're supposed to be dead. That'll work. Now walk to the car. How'd you know I'd be here? You're predictable. What do you want with me? You're gonna do some pro bono mechanic work. What do you mean, pro bono work? I'm through answering questions. Now get in the car. Do you know where some of your new friends are hanging out? Yeah? Here's the deal. You rig your buddy's trucks to blow, and I won't put a bullet in your head. pissed about Lynn. I am too, but I had nothing to do with killing her. I was gonna kill me for this. I was in the rollers. Can't you let it go? did was fix cars. you're doing. Starting shit with the Brotherhood is gonna get you killed.
with me. Let me know when it's going to kill me for this. against the Brotherhood. They'll kill me! Don't kill me! Welcome to scenic Stillwater. Once gripped by gang violence, Stillwater has finally become the city that it was destined Shit, the detonator's not working and I can't fix it! We just gotta wait until the timer goes off. Citizens visit the Stillwater Boardwalk to see lively street performers, cultural festivals, and some of the best dining on the north side. For those more interested in Stillwater's triumph over its sordid past, check out the corporate part of Saints Row. Amidst the high rises and iconic Phillips Building lies one of Stillwater's most cherished landmarks, the Memorial Church. Once the hideout of the Third Street Saints, this den of vice has not only been returned to its original glory. Just let it go. Who the fuck do the saints think they are turning me down? Sweetie, it's not a big deal. Just kill him. Hey, Donnie, where have you- Meryl! I'm so sorry! What did you do, Donnie? I it's the saints! Th they- What did you do, Donnie? They made me rig up some of our boys' trucks and- And you did it? I, I didn't have a cho- You had a choice, Donnie. You chose your life over the rest of us. I had a gun to my head, man. What was I supposed to do? Have a spine. I didn't say anything about the shipment. Well, that makes it all better. Bro, you should be pissed at that asshole running the Saints, not Donnie. I didn't ask your opinion, Matt. Mero, who's gonna fix my car? <laughs>
There's a couple of cars I need to round out my collection. I'm willing to pay top dollar for any car on the list you can find. Thank God you're here. Every second we're talking is one more second of airtime that Zack Johnson is stealing from me. Who? You know, that nut job lawyer who gets hard at the idea of a lawsuit. Lately he's been crusading against media he deems to be offensive. Does he have a lot of support? Not really. But the guy makes a big enough ass out of himself that whenever he pulls some stunt, people listen. And if people are watching him, they're not watching me. So what do you want me to do? Get out there and give me something worth covering. The more damage you do, the longer I can do a live broadcast. It's not foreplay without Funk 98.4. When a story breaks, the Channel 6 news team is first to the scene with award-winning on-site reporter Jane Valderrama. Stillwater University, a place of learning or a state-funded opium death. Legendary anchorman Jack Armstrong, celebrating 25 years of bringing you the news you need to hear. Our top story tonight, child pornography. Twisted fetish or modern art? You be the judge. With meteorologist Max Storm. We got some rain coming in this weekend, but turn those frowns upside down because sunny days are right around the corner. Back to you, Jack. And Abe Powers on sports. The beer bongs will be flowing tonight at Stillwater U after the Skeeters suffered another crushing defeat. The Channel 6 News team. If they're not reporting it, they probably haven't been told about it. The Pyramid! Welcome to scenic Stillwater. <laughs>
triple platinum veteran child. Don't break you down so by Troy's office sometime. Say hi.
get out of the goddamn sewer? Why are you looking away? In case you're, you know, being followed. This isn't a goddamn spy movie, Carlos. Can you turn around? What do you got? Nothing. Are you shitting me? Listen, I tried everything I could. What was I supposed to do? Try harder. After that shit you pulled with Donnie, the Brotherhood are keeping a tight lid on what they got cooking. I've heard one guy mention a shipment, but beyond that, it looks like we're back to square one. Which is? We know they like trucks and tattoos. You were on my shortlist, and you giving me tattoos and trucks? And the shipment. Which you know nothing about. Carlos, I like you. I do. But you got a lot to learn about being a lieutenant. I wish I had more to give you. Believe me, so do I. But fuck it, we'll figure out something. What is it? I think I got an idea. Marrow said he got a lot of canvas left. I'm gonna splatter paint all over him. Carlos, don't worry. I'm gonna make a banger out of you if it kills me. over to the nuke plant. I don't think the cops are gonna be too happy about it, so I need you to be ready to pull me out when I give you the call. No problem, boss. I'll get you a helicopter.
Hopefully they thought they stopped me. what I came for. I need to get picked up. I'm on my way. Messing with. 
Nice getaway plan, Carlos. Hey, we walked away from the crash. That's good enough for me. So what do we do now? We jack a car and get the hell out of here. Bro, you are gonna look like a bad motherfucker. That's good, because I was beginning to think I looked like an investment banker. I'm glad you two are having fun, because God forbid we do something about the Saints. I'm gonna take care of them, babe. Sure you are. You think I'm afraid? No, she doesn't, Marrow. Now can you stay cool? I'm almost done. I think you should stick to tattooing and drop the guitar. Whatever. The feed dogs fucking rock. Baby?
what? Can't this be decided without violence? Carlos, where the fuck are you? I think your people skills need some work, sweetie. Jessica, how'd you like Marrow's new tattoo? Actually, I think it's pretty sexy. Rugged, tough. Radioactive? That's cute. I try. Now what the fuck do you want? Well, I just wanted to let you know that since you were nice enough to give my man a makeover, I should return the favor. Don't worry, by the time we're through with him, Carlos will look just as handsome as Mara. Listen up, you fucking bitch! Course, I don't have access to the same materials you did, but you know, I'm mean, asking figure we can make do. When I find you... I mean, I'm sure you'll do something scary. Do me a favor, when you're scraping up your buddy's face, just remember, Mara gave you a chance to be his partner.
closer to get out of my way. Come on, get you! God, you again? Wrong answer. I can't tell you. Meryl will kill me. This is your last chance. I heard him say they were gonna take him on a ride around the docks.
you think you're doing?
Sorry, dog. Let's do this the easy way, okay? You... I'm sorry. I don't have time for this. Sorry about that, baby. I almost dented my car on a hippie chick. Hey, I'm not a hippie. Mero, I'm fine. Look, I gotta go. I'm about to make the deposit. Sweetie, let me worry about the money. We'll have enough to cover the shipment, and once that comes in, the Saints won't have a chance in hell. Yo, Shandi, we're gonna hack or what? Hey, boss. Shandy, I'm watching Bobby and Amber. Can I wait? Not really. What's up? Mero's girlfriend just walked into the bank with a suitcase full of money. I'll be right over.
Let them go! Stay with me! Get down! There's no way out of here! Just give up! Please, kill my husband first. Hold your fire! Alright, Jessica, you gonna turn off that alarm? Yeah? How am I gonna do that? Hit the off button! Bitch like you would take me out. You are weapons free. Bring them down. Waking to your children's screams are over. Introducing Morpheus, the latest pharmaceutical breakthrough from Altor. Just one tablet every night before bed ensures that your child sleeps easy the whole night. Morpheus, because you and your family deserve sweet dreams. Please use Morpheus only as directed. Certain side effects may occur, including impaired motor skills, back pain, neck pain, cold sweat, seizures, depression, narcolepsy, social anxiety disorder, jaundice, sudden paralysis, Asperger's syndrome, loss of hair, pigmentation, delusions of grandeur, and night terrors. Alto. A brighter future and a better life.
What's this? Do me a favor. When you check the trunk, just remember you should have offered me something better than 20%. doesn't have a scratch on it, and it better stay there. Sorry, man. How we get it done in a sense? Gun nuts ain't in my job description. Down. 
You might as well go home. We're closed. Like for the day? Like forever. Wu, you can't close down the massage parlor. It's a Stillwater landmark. I've been coming here since junior high. No girls means no massages. No girls? That's all that's keeping you back? I think it's a pretty substantial problem. Let me find you some workers. You'll be back in business in no time.
Hello, mon ami. What can Sykes do for you? You know what the overhead for running a gang is? I gotta get some money rolling in. Charity is not a favorite virtue of Sykes. Perhaps, though, Sykes can interest you in some work. Keep talking. Naturally, as Sykes is currently under investigation by the Stillwater PD, this is, of course, hypothetical. But if there was a car out front containing a loose woman, and if you were to provide an environment where said woman could entertain lustful individuals or while maintaining their privacy, Sykes might be able to pay you in cash or in trade. Cash is good. Looks like we have ourselves a partnership, no? Partnership nothing. I'm just driving around your hose. to it. I got laundry going at home. Oh, that's it, girl. You're making my rush. You're gonna get us killed. Jolly. You're the best. Uh, you don't mind if I switch holes, do you? Nancy owes me for taking her shift. Watch the teeth, lass. Be a delicate instrument you're working with. Driver, can you turn up the radio? Oh, I'll shiver your timbers, all right. Mm. Mm. I want them. That's it. Do I have to do everything? Very nice. All cannons, fire! I need a bitch, a bitch, you don't sleep, but you don't play. Stick it up, girls, from around the fucking way. We'll definitely have to do this again. I'll be sure to look you up next time I make more of these parts. Take 
you do is get my good side. Retitted. I think you're being too hard on yourself. Yeah, that car crushing thing was pretty tight. Don't get me wrong, I'm a fan of my work, it's just... I got so wrapped up in sending Mero a message, I never asked Jessica about the shipment. Bitch is dead. Who cares about the shipment? I do. 
is something that Meryl wants, and that means I'm gonna take it. All right, there's gotta be someone you can pump for information. What about Donnie? He got manhandled twice. I'm pretty sure he's out of the loop, if not dead. Hey, what about their tattoo? What about their tattoo artist? Good idea. What, what just happened? Shondi had a good idea. And what the fuck ever? She stole my- Don't be jealous, Pierce. We're all on the same team. You said before that this guy's in a band called the Feed Dogs, right? Yeah. They're playing tonight. Shouldn't be too hard to crash the show. Nice call, Shondi. What you say we borrowed a Feed Dogs pyro truck? See what this bad boy can do. You hear that? That is music. What the hell are we listening to? The fuck you. I'm driving. We're gonna listen to whatever the hell I want. Stopping these assholes from shooting us? People still want God so You doing all right back there? I'm fine. Keep driving. Shawnee's been on point with a good idea. We're gonna have a serious problem. Why the fuck you gotta bring up Shandy? I'm the one driving the damn truck.
shipment. The fuck are you talking about? Don't fuck with me, Matt. You got a lot of gear on this stage I haven't played with yet. You gotta believe me. I just tattooed the gang. They don't fill me in on what they're doing. Remember that time you inked up Mero and you never heard him talk about a shipment with Jessica? All I heard is that it's coming in by boat. They leave me out of the loop on purpose. They were trying to keep me from getting mixed up in their shit. Your friends should have tried harder. Come on, I told you everything I know. Enjoy your retirement, man. Hey, Sean. Huh? You know anyone that works at the dock? Not really. Looks like you get to make some new friends. Mara's got a shipment coming in by boat, and I want to get it before he does. Okay, I'll take care of it. Show you ain't nothing better. The hell coming through. I've been looking all over for you. We got a serious damn, those are some nice shoes. You want to sit down? Yeah, no, we, we got a problem. What's up? The Brotherhood are all over our turf. What do you mean, all over? I mean, those assholes are driving around in some big-ass trucks blowing shit up. Great. You got the boys out there taking care of this? Yeah, about that. You're not filling me with confidence, Pierce. What happened? Well, they kind of got arrested by the cops. Fuck you say? You got a bunch of big tattooed motherfuckers running around, burning shit, and you're surprised the cops show up? This just keeps getting better.
Mr. Marrow here to see you? Jamie, I'm trying to downsize here. Um, Mr. Vogel, I'm not sure I'm adequately conveying Mr. Marrow's size. Get him out of here! <laughs> or send him in. Wow. Thanks, Jamie. You must be Mr. Marrow. I've heard about the connections Altor has. You're gonna get my boys out of jail and help me destroy the Saints. Your bargaining posture needs some work. The Saints killed my girlfriend and crippled my best friend. And that's unfortunate, but Altor is a business and there's no profit in revenge. Don't worry about the door, though. That one's on me. Fine. You want money? In a few days, a shipment's coming in- Mr. Marrow, nebulous shipment or not, I think I made myself quite- <laughs> Let's try this again. You're gonna help me destroy the saints. And old Tor would love to be of service. Good. Stillwater Police Department. I need to talk to Troy Bradshaw. Who should I say? Do it! Chief, there's a Mr. Vogel on the line. Put him through. Hello, Troy. Yeah, what do you want, Vogel? It's not what I want, it's what I need. Which is? You are going to release all the Brotherhood you have locked up. And why the fuck would I do that? I'm looking after my clients. Your, uh, clients are a bunch of criminals. Guilty before a trial. Nice. Is that the kind of mentality you like to instill in your subordinates? Huh. <laughs> Spare me. Alright, they're not getting released and that's that. This is where we're going to have to agree to disagree. These men are going free. The only question is if you let this be settled quietly, or if you want a media circus that will make you look like a joke. I thought Altor wanted order. Okay, letting these assholes out is going to only make things worse. Troy, in order to maintain the ecosystem, sometimes the rangers need to start forest fires. You should know that better than anybody. I suspect I'll hear from you soon. <laughs> I could go for a light bulb and some lower dust.
You're about to get a face full of fit. Take her in the VIP. Y'all need to knock it out. Get moving. You can't do this! And it's all right.
Got niggas coming home at night like the son of a bitch. Nigga done took me off. Yeah, you shook and soft. You can't blame my old crook. Well, look, you lost. Niggas are fine, your bitch. They're fine, your bricks. See if you love your chick, but you love your chicks. Four, four, snub shit. Six love to the whip. Beanie Seagull, that's an eagle. I love this thug shit. Yo, but you really know what the thug about. Locked up in the bank, no drug about. On the block, throw your things, slinging drugs about. Tell me what you really know what the thug about. Yo, what you really know what the thug about.
three, two, one. It's the debut single from the album Shine On. Here's Jet with Put Your Money Where Your Mouth Is. This is an import? Your child one of them? Well now those nights of waking to your children's screams are over. Introducing Morpheus, the latest pharmaceutical breakthrough from Altor. Just one tablet every night before bed ensures that your child sleeps easy the whole night.
surprising turn of events, several members of the Brotherhood are being released today. A previously thought open-shut case turned into a fierce legal battle as several high-power attorneys fought tooth and nail for their client's freedom. Curious about the court proceedings, I spoke to Chief of Police, Troy Bradshaw. My personal opinion on the trial doesn't really matter. They were found innocent by a jury of their peers. So you think they were guilty? I'm sorry, Jane. Listen, I have to get back to work. Hey, why don't you try talking to Dane Vogel? Mr. Vogel, what's Altor's interest in the trial? Altor has no interest in the trial other than to see criminals get put behind bars. So there is no truth to the speculation that the Brotherhood's lawyers are in Altor's pocket? Jane, we've donated millions of dollars to the Stillwater PD as well as rebuilt the shattered community of Saints Row. I understand that everyone likes to pick on the big corporations, but this latest groundless attack on Altor's integrity is just ridiculous. Behind me, the men and women loading up onto these buses are being given another chance at freedom. But the question remains, are we also giving them another chance at a life of crime? I'm Jane Valderrama, Channel 6 News. Back to you, Jack. by boat. You gotta find a way to stop them before they reach the mainland. I'm on it.
Brotherhood by boat. You gotta find a way to stop them before they reach the mainland. Thanks for the heads up, Jamie. Is there something I can help you with? They hit my boys when they were on the prison bus. Between your girlfriend and your gang, I'd say you're a magnet for tragedy, Marrow. You think this is fucking funny? No, but I do think it's your problem. My problems are your problems. Or do you need some fresh air to remind you? No. See, my problem is that a sideshow freak is messing up my paperwork. Your problem is that there's a group of security guards with assault rifles pointed at your back. Your security guards look more like a private army. Call them whatever you want. The point is, they have big guns. I'm sorry you couldn't protect your friends. I really am, but Old Tor's done doing you favors. Come back here again, and I'll have you shot on sight. Go fuck yourself, Vogel. I've enjoyed our time together, too, but I think it's time to move on. Gentlemen, could you please show our guest out? And Mero, don't worry about your little shipment. Ultor has already appropriated it. What did you say? Ultor Security is taking control of the boat carrying your goods. It only seemed fair that we get compensated for letting your boys out of jail. You can go now. That boat is never going to make it to shore. Goodbye, Mero.
want in the club, baby. Those rumors about Ultor trying to buy the police department have me worried. I'm just happy to see you. Oh! One of these days, I'll move out of here. Hey, it's Shandi. Meet me at Adam's Arcade. I gotta talk to you about the Brotherhood. I'm going to take everything from you. show that delivers. She asks the tough questions. She has a balanced outlook. And she's giving the left a run for their money. The Anna Show. Check your local listings. Hi. This is former heavyweight champion Arthur Boom Boom Dingle. After 12 rounds in the ring with me, people tend to get pretty beat up. And after 12 months of the dossiers of a couple of individuals that need to disappear.
three, two, one. I just wanted to get this out of the way, Mr. Mueller. I'm a big fan. Glad to hear it. And please, call me Chuck. So tell me about the project. Well, we're looking to do a follow-up to our blockbuster documentary, Skeeters on Fire, which really captured the youth market. What I'm imagining is something edgy, something urban, something I like to call bangers on fire. See, it's about... I'm in. Really? <laughs> well, most people have some questions about the safety of the... I just want to light stuff on fire. You don't have to sell me. Okay, let's just get you registered with the union and we'll have you running around in a flame suit in no time. Three, two, one.
tired of working in this damn shoe store. Manuel's birthday is coming up, and if I can get him some of his favorite cars, there's a chance he might take me back. <laughs> Archibald Nice, damn pleasure to meet you. Sit down, sit down. What's this about? What this is about is protection. Physical protection for my clients and financial protection for yourself. What do you mean? The entertainment industry and gangs go hand in hand. Remember when those bikers worked security at Altamont? Worked out then and this'll work out now. I got a lot of talent that's getting ready to walk the red carpet. And I want to make sure no crazy fans hurt my investment. Let's not put anyone in body bags here, but roughing up a couple tweens is fine by me.
Okay, so I'm friends with this crazy environmental art. Artist named Criff Jacobs. She wants to do an installation piece, but can't find the car to do it. Think you can help her out? Tell me you didn't pick this place just so you could play that stupid game. No, I picked this place so we could play this stupid game. This gang shit's got you a little stressed out. You need to relax. By playing skee-ball. Oh, yeah. You know, most people just smoke pot. Right. And then they go play skee-ball. Fuck it. So did you hit the docks like I asked? Wait, what? 
After the Feed Dogs concert, I called you to look into the docks and you said Look, that... I gotta be honest, I was really stoned. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I totally am. One of the dock workers just called and said this big guy with tattoos and a scarred face was shaking people down trying to find out when some shipment was rescheduled to arrive. Why would Marrow need to ask about the time of his own shipment? I don't know, maybe it got delayed. And you're sure this big guy with tattoos is Marrow and not just some biker guy? I'd bet my life on it. Deal. Wait, hold up. What do you mean, deal? Check it out. I got some more dirt on the ship. Hold up, I got another call. Hello? Okay, I just got some more info on Marrow's shipment. Alright, lay it on me. Marrow's bought enough guns to take over... something that needs a lot of guns to take over. The point is, that if you get to the cargo hold, you should find some nice toys to play with. Thanks for the tip. Bye, Bob. You there? Meryl's got a shit ton of ammo stashed in the- You're a little late on the pickup, Pierce. Shawnee told me all about it. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm the one who told Shawnee about it! Yeah, that's great. Listen, can you tell Shawnee good job for me? Thanks. Classic 102.4. We gotta meet up in school, too. Them, justice is a blind and spiteful As the newly released men and women were being driven to be released, the leader of the third streets turned these vehicles of deliverance into music. Welcome! You want to love this place.
you. What's your deal? are barely worth my time.
What's up? Are you okay? I'm fine. What's up? I was listening in on the police scanner, and the Coast Guard is reporting a lot of Brotherhood are coming towards you. You sure? Boss, are you there? I'm fine, Shondi. Suddenly I'm not so worried about the Brotherhood.
wanted to mess with me.
Shonda, we're gonna need some boys to come out here and give me a hand moving this shit. I'm on it, boss.
I'm glad y'all seem to like the new hardware the Brotherhood decided to hook us up with. You know, up until this point, we've been toying with Mara. Kill his bitch here, steal his money there, but I'm through playing. We know where he lives, we have his guns, and I say it's time we take that motherfucker out. What you think? <laughs> Stupid of me to move to Mars instead of going to college. I guess he was right. Don't talk like that, Parker. We have to have hope. What hope is there? Jonathan sued us in. We're running out of air. Will Eos and Parker escape Duncan's death trap? Can they make it to Dome 31 in time to testify at Hawkins' murder trial? Parker, what's wrong? I, I don't want to. Run dies here! Third Street, baby! Miss another best of most of the red planet right now. Eat day after day, chapter one. Only on Channel 6. Hey, Rick, you don't look so good. What's up? It's Sheila. She's pregnant. Oh, her dad's gonna kill you. You better marry her, dude. I can't marry her. I can't even afford a ring. Why not just go to Bling Bling? Bling Bling? Yeah, man, Bling Bling. Right now they're having a shotgun wedding sale on all engagement rings. Just bring in the used pregnancy test applicator showing that she's pregnant, and you get half off the ring. <laughs> Good thing I saved it. You know, I guess this won't be so bad after all. Well, I wouldn't say that. Your life's pretty much over. But at least you can get a great deal on an engagement ring. Thanks, buddy. You're a true friend. Bling, bling. The phrase may be dated, but corporate America doesn't care. Classic 102.4. Wait, you got a beat up in school. Let's do it, people! Help! Help! 
Stay loose, Saints! It ain't over yet. We got plenty more of these assholes to go through. The Brotherhood are finished. Marrow, I'm coming for you! out of bullets at the worst time. worth my time. Guess you're not tough enough to hang on third crew. <laughs> Run 
why you still
The shooting stopped. Do you think it's over? <laughs> Buddy screamed like a bitch when we trussed him up. How about you, bitch? You gonna scream? One of my boys watched Donnie's mechanic shop after you shook him down. Merrill went to check on Donnie, but when he left, he went straight to the docks to set up some business deal. I don't know what's going on, but a convoy of Brotherhood are going to the docks now. If you can hijack one of their trucks, you could probably join the convoy, get to the meeting place, and take out all the motherfuckers that show up.
Now, what kind of day would it be in Radio Land if we didn't play Trick Me by Khalees? A shitty one, you can bet on that. Could take out Donnie, let alone me. Been waiting all day for you. Uh, who do you think you were messing with? Don't scare me.
Should read King's book. I wonder if I'm in it. Three, two, one. At least you got a story to tell your therapist. This ain't mother. Stop the bus. Exactly tacticians, but they got at least one thing right. Getting paid to do nothing is love. If we want to be major players, we got to get some protection rackets going. 
And we might as well start with the neighborhood that loves to pay out, Chinatown. running the Brotherhood Protection Rackets owns the Pagoda Hotel. 
Shake him down and everyone else will fold.
up? My cousin Tobias said that you might be needing some spare cash. Can you help me out? Any friend of Toby's a friend of mine. Here's what's going down. These over here are filled with a whole lot of shit that'd never get past customs, if you know what I'm saying. These over here are filled with clothes and hair dryers and shit. We don't worry about pile number two. So what you need me to do? Same shit you did for my cousin. I make the deals, you make sure no one puts me in jail or in the ground. Lower Dust has been making shit harder on him. Troy's been having his boys crash down. So you're friends with Shondi, right? That girl is cool as hell. They gonna rip up your heads, your aspirations to shreds, another cock in the murder machine. They said I'll say they just scared the living shit out of me. They can care less as long as someone will bleed. So talk in your clothes, I'll drink your body. Time to be 
The reason the Somdi weren't able to get a complete lock on the university is because the Southern housing is being run by the Brotherhood. Prostitution, gambling, drugs. If it's a vice college kids want, the Brotherhood are pushing it here. If the Saints want to take control of this neighborhood, you're going to have to evict those assholes.
No! Who's the loser now? We get it done, Saints! I think my luck would change after night. Oh! Uh, this wasn't on the uh. Uh.
Watch what you do! Richie, who works as a baggage handler at Wardle. Well, the other day I found out he was holding, so I stopped by to say hi and smoke a bowl. Anyway, it turns out that while he was at work, he snuck off to a hangar to celebrate 420 and overheard Marrow talking with some scary Euro trash dudes. Whatever's happening is involving some serious money, so if you get to the hangar before the deal goes down, I'll bet you can wire that money to us. After that, if you're still feeling psychotic, you could take out the Brotherhood and whoever they're dealing with.
There was gonna be a fight!
twice. Still war got it soft. Ah, make love to a the in a the girls and I and I make love to a I got red like a Drop your like a you want to chop it. your like a like a gun. You want to It's like a river fight your ticket. It's like a to the altar door. This ends now. Spin 
Tattoo artist is serious business, and at Rusty's Needle, we like to make sure. Else want to play? For the right reasons. Reason to shop. Needle number six. Tramp stamp Tuesdays. During rush week, I had to get the letters of every house I rushed at. Thank God, Rusty's Needle was having a sale. Reason to shop at Rusty's Needle number sixty-eight. Get laid. I knew a girl who said she would blow anyone who had a tattoo of a snowman on their junk. I thought, why the hell not? Reason to shop at Rusty's Needle number 20. Regrets for pussies. My parents thought I was crazy for getting a tattoo of a panther clawing through my neck. And now that I'm 48 and have two kids of my own, I'm just the coolest mom on the block. <laughs> there are hundreds of reasons to get a tattoo. So what are you waiting for? Pick one and come down to Rusty's Needle today. You have the balls to come alone. I never said I'd be alone.
last words. Go to hell. Sorry, didn't catch that. Hey, hey, be cool, it's not so bad. Mero asked to sit down and have a chat with you. He wants to work something out before things get out of control. You might as well go home. We're closed. Like for the day? Like forever. Wu, you can't close down the massage parlor. It's a Stillwater landmark. I've been coming here since junior high. No girls means no massages. No girls? That's all that's keeping you back? I think it's a pretty substantial problem. Let me find you some workers. You'll be back in business in no time. You're just the person I was looking for. What's up, Lee? I got a couple of ongoing cases against the Stillwater PD, and I could use a little leverage. What kind of leverage? Well, I figure if you got yourself on that cop show fuzz, we could show the world a side of our police force that isn't exactly primetime friendly. I don't like the idea of taking beatings for your clients. Oh, you misunderstand me. I want you dressed as one of Stillwater's finest. And let me guess. 
there's gonna be a lot of people resisting arrest. Uh, well, what happens in the course of duty is up to you. Uh, far be it from me to tell an officer of the law how to beat an unarmed man with a blunt object, or how to discharge your weapon on someone who's trying to surrender. Thanks for not judging how I do my job. Oh, I have nothing but respect for our men in uniform. It's time for... <laughs> Social mores are being violated. Please investigate. Oh, uh, take this sledgehammer. Make my career! Sure! Why is it a crime for people to do what animals do at free? Oh, I think Where is she in? Damn great. The human body is a beautiful oh, thing, oh, man! The audience is gonna eat this up. There's nowhere for you to go! Can't this be decided without violence? Jeez, do they really deserve that much punishment? A streaker has just been called in. Please respond. <laughs> that that wasn't in the script. We're not doing snuff films. My camera was pointing the wrong way. Can, can you go back and do that again? You think we can get them to sign a waiver? A purse snatcher is making a run for it. Please intercept. Hey, you've got some great camera presence. Now this is good television! I think my brain is... This wasn't how my day was what? supposed to go! Can the man carry a purse? Ah. They're gonna have to save this stuff for sweeps week. Whoa! Sorry! Didn't know you were blind, asshole! Ooh. This is madness! Ah. 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 I'll take this one to the stage. some exciting footage uh, for fun.
curb stomp. Can we do that? You don't see that? Bill, he said, Cal. You've changed my life. I don't pray pain. It's all an act. Damn, I can bring you along more often. Thank you for that. What's up with the dollhouse? Dollhouse my ass. This is how we gonna fuck up the Ronin. This'll be good. Psst, trust me, it is. The Ronin have a stake in Poseidon's palace, so I figure hitting their biggest money maker is a good way to show them we not fucking around. Okay, so what's the plan? You and I enter the casino here. Once inside, we need to distract this security guard. I was thinking you could catch me cheating or some shit like that. Anyway, while the guard's concerned with throwing me out, Gatto sneak in through this security door. Don't worry, I already got today's passcode from the blackjack dealer Shandy's fucking. Now once inside, Gatto have to sneak past the guards to cut the power. And when that happens, we only have about 45 seconds before the backup generator turns on. During the blackout, yo, 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 though- hold up, man. I mean, I love the dream house you built here and everything. But what if we just start here, walk into the casino, and just shoot all the motherfuckers that are between us and the money? Well, you know- It would be a lot faster. And a lot more fun. Yeah, but- Fuck it, let's go. Good call, Johnny.
love what I got planned for the Ronin. Who's calling the shots? A kid named Shogo Okuji. Now he probably spends more time on his head than he does on his bike, but it doesn't change the fact that he pulls the roof. Good to know. Hey, I thought Pierce was coming along. Where is he? Pierce is picking up some of the other saints and meeting us there. I figure we can get the party started without him.
Yeah, but before we start buying new cars, we better clean this one. Yeah, stashing a ton of money with a bunch of criminals seems like a smart idea. We gotta find a place to hide it. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'll take it to Isha's. You sure she's cool with that? Yeah, it should be fine. Do you need to you need to relax. My father won't find out about the casino. Don't question me, Junichi. And we're in America. Speak English. Forgive me, Shogo. A little jumpy today? Over there. Sword. Listen, Junichi. I know you're having a hard time adjusting to the way I run things here. But how about you let me deal with my father, and you deal with whatever the... Fuck I tell you to deal with. Of course, Shogo. Excellent. Three, two, one. Don't work. I won't do any damage. You're Let's rumble. Ah! No one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Too easy. What's that? Can't hear you, son. Three, two, one. How much of your face do you want me to leave in No way a bitch like you would take me out. some more. Feel bad for that poor best. I'm sending you to the depth you're not. I got an envelope full of pain. Find it.
I love you like a 44 Shepherd. Who are you planning on shooting? I won't tell. I should read King's book. One of our many. Why is there a big pile of money on the coffee table? It's a little complicated. We shot up a Ronin casino and stole the cash. And you brought that shit here? Ish. Who else we gonna trust with the money? But the Ronin know you stole it, right? Well, they wouldn't have if we would've went with my plan. Yeah, well, if we went with your plan, we'd still be talking about it. Fuck off, Gat. Excuse me? Shut up. We're on. Casino heist has left the police baffled. Standing next to me is Chief of Police, Troy Bradshaw. Chief, how's the investigation going? This is an investigation, Miss Valderrama. I can't get into details. Can you say anything about the Third Street Saints' involvement? I don't know what you're talking about. This leaked security footage shows the leader of the Saints, recent fugitive and Saint Lieutenant Johnny Gatt, as well as an unknown accomplice assaulting the casino. Obviously, the Third Street Saints are back after a long hiatus. Hey! Woo! Oh, God. Unknown accomplice, my ass! 
Miss Valder. Also, reports claim that Altor is pressing the police department for a quicker response. One of Altor's investments was robbed. Of course they want their money back. All right, all right, we've had our 15 minutes. Let's clean this money. Do you even know how to launder money? How hard can it be? Buy expensive stuff in one place, then resell it someplace else. This ain't gonna work. You worry too much, Pierce. Where it is, you got a car for sale. I do, but my baby doesn't come cheap. Money is no problem. You should be more careful. Long. Hi, I'm Mary Ellen Pinkenweather, captain of the Roller Skeeters. We've got four matches against our rivals, Freedom City, coming up. So let me just invite everyone to come out and watch us pound those beers. Ronan are coming your way! I told you this was a bad idea. Skeeters. We fine, Pierce. The Ronin ain't stopping me. We're not sure of the rules, but we know one thing. You gotta be there. Doris, there's... Well, there's something I need to tell you. Jack, what is it? Well, you know Sandy. Your secretary? Yeah, well, she and I... Oh, God. You're cheating on me? Again? Uh, don't worry, Doris. We're going to be okay. I've got you something. Oh, the diamond-encrusted hair clip I always wanted. How could I stay mad at you? Save your marriage and your bank account with the On Thin Ice Maya Culpa sale. Buying your family's love has never been cheaper. On Thin Ice, our jewelry will outlast your marriage. The best, the best of today's music. Tell me you're selling some serious firepower. You look a little fancy to be starting a junta, but I got some toys I think you'll like. Okay, I can use all that stuff. Let's go to my stash.
lot of friends, what can I say? You brought the wrong in here? Did I forget to mention that part? Shogo is explaining our failure to his father. Mr. Akuchi doesn't sound happy. That's because his son has brought him much shame. Akuchi-san is coming to America to teach Shogo how to lead. Is that good or bad? That depends on who you are. We need the saints taken care of before my father arrives. What would you have me do? I want you to do get some of our boys and kill them
Where's Johnny? Oh, I sent him out to the store. He should be back. Who the hell is that? Yo, that's our new house guest, baby. Mm. I caught this asshole riding around our turf. Got something you want to tell me? Go to hell. That wasn't very nice. Johnny, I just bought that table! <gasps> Sorry about that. Why the fuck are you here? Whatever you do to me is nothing compared to what Mr. Akuji will do to you. The oil bone? No shit. When's he coming? I'll die before I tell you. Yep. Johnny! It'll wash out. It better. What the fuck's an Akuji? Kazuo Okuji's the father of Shogo Okuji. The asshole's running the Ronin. Okay, so who cares? This guy's a fucking boogeyman. When I was in jail, I would listen to some of the Ronin talk about what this guy did in Japan. It's not pretty. You think he's all talk? I don't know, but I'm looking forward to finding out. <clears throat> you cool taking out those fuckers by yourself? I gotta clean up around the house. No problem, man. I got this. Dane, don't worry. I'll get the money back. You're missing the point, Shogo. The money was insured. I'm more concerned about you. What? Ultor and the Ronin have had a very healthy relationship in the past, but lately, well, when I pay protection money, I expect some fucking protection. Watch yourself, Vogel. The Saints are a concern, Shogo. Not for long. Why's that? I've got my best man working on that now. Moshi Moshi. Speak English. What is it, Shogo? I'm in a meeting with Dane Vogel. He wants assurances that the state... Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Like always.
Run it into. They say it ain't yeah. good to sleep outside. Don't oh, mind me. Weren't you the guy who raised oh, hell in that one game? Thank you, thank you.
I'm jonesing for some shiner. You got any? Can't help you with that, man. But I'll hook you up with Alan Epley's most recent band, The Life and Times. and there are a few key witnesses that could really throw a wrench in things. You think you can make sure they don't make it to court?
go. I hope those guys won't think that. How come I seen Shondi leaving my house last night? Oh shit! You want to step? Luz? What you doing here? I thought the Colombians were sending their mule. They did. You're shitting me. Hmm. Why are you surprised? I just never thought I'd see you doing, like, actual work. Believe me. I wouldn't be here if Manuel hadn't cut me off. Yeah, that was a fucking shocker. Can we not talk about it? He found someone younger, didn't he? Are you gonna help me sell this shit or not? Well, aren't you the big bad drug dealer? You know what? Fuck you. I'm coming, I'm coming. I wouldn't want to miss this. I never thought I would end up being a mule.
car doesn't have a scratch on it, and it better stay that. Ten years ago, I could have paid Leave him stealing this heat. Just figure out what the... No, I live by the code. Anything goes. Real thugs stand up straight. They never fold. And they don't know shit if anything ever blows. Thugs don't want to talk shit out. They want to spark shit out. Until the cops want to chalk shit out. Blades with the toaster. Extra clip in the lane. A thug on ghost ya, lay you out flat like a thug supposed to. Would you really know what a thug about? Locked up in a bank, no drug about. On your block, doing your thing, slinging drugs about. Tell me what you really know what a thug about. Yo, would you really know what a thug about? Locked up in a bank, no drug about. On your block, doing your thing, slinging drugs about. Shondi, her test key.
take much pleasure in this. Then let me go. That depends on you. Aisha doesn't care that I'm stopping by, does she? Fuck no. Aisha doesn't go out much. She loves company. You're gonna kill me, aren't you? If you're calm, help us find the money 
and do what I say. I give you my word you will live. Ish, you home? Get out of the way! Gat's been stabbed. We need a ride to the hospital. Hang tight. I'm coming. He's not looking good. Just get us to the goddamn hospital!
I'm giving you a raise. Johnny, you're gonna be fine. <sighs> Gotta save each. Look out, coming through. Pierce, listen up. Johnny got laid out by one of the Ronin. That mean I get a promotion? Don't get too excited, asshole. Gat will be back up in no time. Yo, that came out wrong. Just shut up and listen. Gat was looking into a Japanese crime boss called the Kuji. This guy's coming into town soon, and I want to know when. Got it. Don't fuck this up, Pierce. I'm not in a good mood. 